until they reveal a marketable idea, which she steals and sells to the highest bidder. That is ridiculous. Oh, is it? Let's see you come up with an explanation as to why this woman hangs out with us all the time. <laughs> okay, you know what? I've already mooched dinner off you guys. I don't need to listen to this. There's your answer, free food. <laughs> to come up with, to suggest or think of an idea or plan, to produce or provide something that people want. Examples. I mean, there's no way I can make myself taller now. <laughs> You know? And who knows what science will come up with in the future, but Chandler, what if I die an unsuccessful, regular-sized man? So, uh, Phoebe tells us you write jingles. Actually, I said she abandoned me to write jingles. Uh, anything we might have heard of? Home is never far away. Home, home is home stars, too. <laughs> yeah, but I don't do that anymore. I, I, I got kind of sick of it, and then... I couldn't come up with anything good, so they fired me. Mm, bummer. <laughs> Gentlemen, I think I've come up with a fun way to get young people interested in science. Physics Mad Libs. <laughs> get this. <clears throat> Professor Jones told the symposium he had a new method for calculating the mass of a muon. Five times the limit of <laughs> E to the oopsalon as in a <laughs> <clears throat> I'll start over. <laughs> Professor <J> <laughs> Okay, all right, so let's see. Let's play from the uh, trash can to the light post, right? Two-hand touch, we'll kick off. Okay, right. To kick off, to start doing something, to force someone to leave a place or an activity. Examples. Okay, uh, let's get things started. Um, why don't we go around the room, say your name, and why you broke up with me? Want to kick it off? Uh, okay. Um, I'm Lucy, and I broke up with Raj because I have severe social anxiety, and he kept trying to force me into uncomfortable situations. You couldn't give us just one weekend? I told him this was a bad idea. <laughs> what do we do? Kick them off? If we drop them off at a fire station, they have to take them. No questions asked. Before you do, please give me one more chance to apologize to Emily. Oh, God. Could I just have a Frosty and a baked potato, please? You have to come to the restaurant to order food. Well, I'll send somebody to pick it up. Just have it ready. It's ready now. Well, I'll put it aside. To put aside, to save or keep something, to be used at later time, to ignore or not deal with something. Examples. I can't believe this. You realize I make more money than you. Yeah, I, don't, I know, but this isn't a big deal. It's just a little savings I put aside. We're married. We're supposed to share everything. You mean like your massive credit card debt? <sighs> Sir, there you are. We've been looking everywhere. Kevin said he hasn't heard from you all night. Yes, I've been sitting in my office, wallowing in my hopelessness, and eating the saddest food known to mankind. Ice cream. Oh, my God, he's Bridget Jones. Hey? Okay, well, it's time to put that aside and pull out whatever food you eat when you're happy. Dry beans? Sure. What? You you didn't do anything wrong? I, I said I didn't technically. <laughs> okay, well, let's put aside the fact that you accidentally picked up my grandmother's ring and you accidentally proposed to Rachel. Well, can I just stop you right there for a second? When people do this, I don't really know what that means. <laughs> I've decided to seduce Wendy the waitress. No. Don't request do that. Why? What rule is there that says I can't seduce the waitress at my favorite bar? We love this bar. If you screw over Wendy the waitress, you're going to kill the bar. Bar killer. Don't kill the bar, dude. To screw over, to treat someone unfairly, or take advantage of someone, to put someone in an unfavorable or bad situation. Examples. I wanted to go to the strip club. <laughs> You're gonna have plenty of chances, okay? There are like thousands of women out there who are just waiting to screw me over. Yeah, all right. Hey, boss, what's up? I saw you got Wilson fired. Nice work. Welcome aboard. Thank you. I promise you, you won't regret it. Oh. Nope. Just one more thing. I know you used to be a cop. If you screw me over, I will cut your testicles off and watch you bleed to death in the dirt. You got that?
I only have one rule. Never screw over a girl whose last name ends in a vowel. Cause she's got brothers. Hey, buddy. Hey, hey dude, look hey, out. Buddy, look out, buddy. Hey, buddy, look out. Dude, watch buddy, out. Buddy. Buddy. Yes! To look out and to watch out. Used for warning someone to be careful. Especially because they are likely to have an accident. To pay close attention to something. Examples. I can see where Mike gets his good looks from. Oh. Well, yeah, no. <laughs> and that physique, you must work out all the time. Oh, no, no, not all the time. I, I do the best I can. Yeah, I bet. Look yeah. out! Oh! Ow! Oh, oh, my God. Are you okay? Uh, I recently had surgery. I'm so sorry. No, I'll be fine. I just should check the stitches. David, you should just go. All right. But if I ever do come back from Minsk, well, you, you just better watch out. Well, if I ever go to Minsk, you better watch out. Oh, you're going to Minsk. Well, I might. Really? Well, if you do, come in the spring. It's just lovely there. <laughs> Magic 8 Ball. Should I never see Rachel again? Ask again later. What the hell? This is broken! It, it is broken! Let me see. Will Chandler have sex tonight? Don't count on it. To count on. To hope or expect that something will happen, or that someone will do something. Examples. The bar uses an applause meter. That is why it is so important that you all come and applaud only for my band. Michael. Can I count on you? You cannot, I have a thing tonight. I like the way I look. Well, I don't. My fault, I was out of Earl Grey. <clears throat> Sheldon, that was really rude. Oh, I'm sorry. Amy is the one constant I can count on, and now she's changing. It's just a haircut and some clothes. No, it's the last straw. I can't take any more. Her name is Whitney. I met her in an online book club. We both like vampire fiction and the romance of eternal life. Oh, that must be her. If this goes well, you don't need to stick around. Hi, I'm Whitney. I'm here for Manny. To stick around. To stay where you are, often because you are waiting for something. To remain in a place for longer than you originally intended. Examples. Who was so stupid and stubborn that she lashed out against her friend's cooking, which she actually thinks is pretty great. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. Aww. Hey, you want to stick around and I'll whip you up some dinner? Yeah, as long as it's free. <laughs> Food here is ridiculously over... <laughs> you know, everyone should just go home and enjoy their Christmas. You don't need to stick around here for me. Shut up. No one's going anywhere. What you did was amazing. Yeah, Boyle, that was some Superman stuff. Yeah, you did the 9-9 nine, nine proud. No ifs, ands, or buts. Sorry, it's just right there. So tell me something, is leaving the Christmas lights up part of your plan to keep us merry all year long? Uh, no, you see, someone was supposed to take them down around New Year's, but obviously someone forgot. Well, someone was supposed to write, Rach, take down the lights and put it on the refrigerator. <laughs> To take down, to remove something, or move something down from a higher position to a lower one. To ruin or destroy something, or someone, or their chances for success. To insult or defeat someone, often publicly. Examples. TripAdvisor is the lifeblood of the agritourism industry. A couple of bad reviews there, you may as well close up shop. That's what took down the stock in. One of the cutest little asparagus farms you'll ever see. And good evening to you, Siam Palace. This is Sheldon Cooper. Yeah, I'm going to be dining alone this evening, so I'll be reducing my usual order. Surely you, his cultural descendant, can handle pad thai and dumplings. 
I need to go. I, you keep in mind that my sharply worded comments on Yelp.com recently took down a local muffin store. Three queens. Nice. Very nice. I, I have an ace. No, that's a flush. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, I have a flush. Yes. <laughs> Look, I won. Look, I have all the clovers. You want to play again? I suck. Just took you down, huh? I do not want to talk about it. Have a seat. Thanks for being here. I feel the same way about you. Well, I will enjoy watching her expose Pemberton and Campbell for the coattail riding frauds that they are. That is Ellen's brand, gotcha journalism. <laughs> yeah, you should have seen her take down John Krasinski last week. Got him to admit he loved his wife. It was brutal. You can call up the roommate, Search. Hi, I'll be living here. <laughs> Don't listen to him. He's just some guy who really wants the apartment, but I don't think he's gonna get it. <laughs> Why did you take the shower curtain down? That thing was a hazard. <laughs> I'm very safety conscious. This will pass. You're gonna get through this. I don't know if I'm going to. I mean, look, I return to my old job in a week, and that's great because I love my old job, but my heart was really set on this new job. And... To set on, to be resolved to do, or have something, or strongly wishing for something. Examples. I can't wait to live with you. <laughs> and you know what we should do? Bring Monica and then we can all live there together. We'll have so much fun. <laughs> but honey, I think she's moving in with Chandler. Oh, that's right. <laughs> You're still set on that? <laughs> Kinda. I'm gonna use this one. now. You'll excuse me. No, no. See, this is my fiance, and her heart was set on that ring. You don't want to break her heart now, do you? Yeah. Do you want to break a dying woman's heart? <laughs> You're dying? <laughs> yeah, she's dying. Of a cough, apparently. Not a morning version. To back off. To stop criticizing someone or telling them what to do. To stop being involved in a situation, usually in order to allow other people to deal with it themselves. Examples. Bye, guys. Bye, Missy. Bye, Missy. Bye. See ya. Goodbye, Leonard. Oh, uh, yeah, no, uh, bye, Penny. <laughs> okay, you two have to back off. Why should I back off? You back off, dude. Excuse me, this is my apartment and she's my roommate's sister. So what? You've already got Penny. In what universe do I have Penny? So I can have Penny? Hell no! I just told him very nicely, you don't go by in people's babies, so back off! What? What? No, 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 Joey, he doesn't want to buy my baby. I made that up. What? Oh, Why? So that we would have something to talk about, so it wouldn't be awkward. And you couldn't think of anything else? I like it. I think you're onto something. You do? You're not messing with me. But not at all. In fact, I have got something for just such an occasion. I was starting to think I might never get a chance to give it to you. Good job. You're giving me a sticker. It did. It's not just a sticker. It's a sticker of a kitty saying, me wow. I'm not a preschooler. What, it, fine, I'll take it back. I earned this, back off. Let's put aside the fact that you accidentally picked up my grandmother's ring. A couple of bad reviews there, you may as well close up shop. That's what took down the stock in. I think I've come up with a fun way to get young people interested in science. You don't need to stick around here for me. <laughs>